For this setup, we'll be using the old oscilloscope and a function generator. We will be using a BNC to binding post adapter, which is also known as a coaxial cable to banana plug adapter. Place the adapters on each of the inputs to the oscilloscope, channel A and channel B, also labeled X and Y. Also place one on the output of the function generator. We will use a decade box set to 0.1 microfarads. We will also use a decade resistor box. The two green posts are set across the resistor and those are the two we'll be using. We will not be using the black post. Set the resistor box to 100 ohms. Make sure all the other switches are down. We are going to set up the following circuit with a capacitor, a resistor, and a function generator. Then we are going to make measurements of the circuit using an oscilloscope. The ground for the function generator is here. The ground for the oscilloscope is here. If we plug the function generator and the oscilloscope into the same set of outlets, they're going to be internally grounded, which means they're going to have the same ground. But we want them each to have a separate ground. Fortunately, there's a fix for that. We take the three-prong plug of the function generator and attach to it a three-prong to two-prong converter, thereby eliminating the ground prong that would go into the outlet. Go ahead and plug in the function generator and the oscilloscope. First, we're going to connect the black post on the function generator to the right side of the resistor. So here I'm plugging into the black post on the function generator and into the right side of the resistor. Next, I will hook up the left side of the resistor to the right side of the capacitor, but we will not attach to the oscilloscope ground at this point. So I attach to the left side of the resistor, which is the middle post, and to the right side of the capacitor. Now we'll attach from the left side of the capacitor to the red post on the function generator. So I attach to the left side of the capacitor and then into the red post on the function generator. Now we have the main part of the circuit set up. The resistor, the capacitor, and the function generator are all included. I like to attach voltmeters after I've set up the rest of the circuit, and an oscilloscope is essentially just a voltmeter. We are going to place the oscilloscope ground in between the capacitor and the resistor. We want to ground the wire in between the capacitor and the resistor, which is this wire. We can attach the ground wire to either end of this wire. I'm going to choose to attach it to the side with the resistor. And then plug the other end of the cable into either of the two black posts on the oscilloscope. We could also have plugged it in here, where the ground symbol is for the oscilloscope. Once we have plugged into one of the three grounding spots here, here, or here, there's no need, generally, to plug in another grounding wire, since the oscilloscope is internally grounded, and all places in the oscilloscope need to actually have the same ground. Next, we're going to hook up the left side of the capacitor 
to channel A on the oscilloscope. So I hook up to the left side of the capacitor and to the red post on the oscilloscope. And for the final cable, we're going to hook up the right side of the resistor to channel B on the oscilloscope. So here I hook up the right side of the resistor to the red post on channel B of the oscilloscope. So now the RC circuit is completely set up and the oscilloscope has been attached to make measurements.